Yes, but I call an for Bendigo. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. You know, Batman, like a number of seats in Melbourne, is it's a really it's a working class area. It's a proud Labor area. It's one of the areas that really stood up and fought. Working people who fought for the pension. That's part of the proud Labor legacy and the union legacy. But what have we got coming from the Greens? Now we all remember what the Greens did. They voted with the former Prime Minister and the Liberal government to cut pensions. They cut the pension of people who live in the seat of Batman. The Greens voted with the Liberals to cut the pensions for three 330,000 pensioners, up to 8,000 for single pensioners, 14,000 for couple pensions. Yet the Greens seem to think that people are going to forget this. The Greens seem to think that the working people today in Batman who will retire in the next 10 to 20 years, they're going to forget that it's the Greens that voted with the Liberals to cut their pension to force them further into poverty. That's the priorities of the Greens. They're the wrong priorities of the Greens. And then we have the candidate for the Greens saying, hmm, we might just increase the pension. We might just do that. That's not anywhere in their policy document. There's no commitment whatsoever to increasing the pension. Another thing that they've thrown out. Only Labor and Jed Carney will stand up for the pensioners, will stand up for the working people in Batman. Only they will protect the pensions of Batman.